क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स से द फोर्स ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन बिटवीन टू मासज इज एफ वेन दे आर प्लेस इन वॉटर इफ द होल सेटअप ऑफ मासज इज डिप्ड इन ऑयल देन द न्यू फोर्स ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन बिटवीन दैम विल बी इट इज गिवन दैट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू मासज रिमेन सेम इन टू केसेज डे स्टूडेंट्स द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स बिटवीन मासज इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द मीडियम बिटवीन दोज मासज एंड हेंस when the medium is changed that is when the medium is changed from water to oil the force of gravitation remains same which means that for this theoretical question option number 3 is the correct answer now let us proceed to the question number 7 the question 7 says the gravitational potential in a region due to a mass distribution as a function of position x is given by v is equal to x divided by x square plus 4 the gravitational field intensity at x is equal to 2 is all the quantities are in si units dear students the gravitational field intensity let us represent it by g vector can be written as minus del v by del x i cap minus del v by del y j cap minus del v by del z k cap here all these quantities are partial differentiations of the potential which is given in the question the students we can see that potential here is a function of only x therefore the partial differentiation with respect to y and z would be zero we can write down that the gravitational field intensity will be minus del v by del x i cap only the students now let us try to find out the potential difference differentiation that is del v by del x the students so therefore we have to find out the differentiation of x by x square plus 4 with respect to x using the quotient rule we can write down that this will be equal to x square plus 4 square and in the numerator it would be x square plus 4 minus x into 2x which will be equal to x square minus 4 divided by x square plus 4 square and a negative sign the students therefore the gravitational field intensity would be x square minus 4 divided by x square plus 4 into i cap we have to find out the value at x is equal to 2 so substituting x is equal to 2 in this expression we find out the value of g vector which will be equal to 0 and therefore the students for this question option number 4 turns out to be the correct answer now let us discuss question number 8 The question says, as we go from poles to equator of Earth, the value of g, option one, remains same. Option two increases. Option three decreases, or option four, first increases, then decreases. Dear students, as we go from the poles to the equator, the effective radius of the Earth increases, and due to this, the acceleration of the gravity decreases. That is, the value of g decreases as we move from poles to equator. Therefore, for this theoretical question. Option number three is the correct answer. Now let us discuss the question number nine. Question number nine says infinite number of particles, each of mass one kg, are placed on line y is equal to x at positions one comma one meter, two comma two meter, four comma four meter, eight comma eight meter, and so on respectively. The resulting gravitational potential due to this system at origin will be. Dear students, let us draw a diagram and let us try to understand this problem statement better. Dear students, the diagram here indicates the problem statement. There is x and y axis, and on the line x is equal to y, there are multiple particles at the coordinates as shown. The potential due to gravitation at a point due to a particle can be written as minus g into m by r, where r is the distance of the point that is origin from the particle, and m is the mass of that particle. It is given that the mass of every particle is 1 kg so for every particle the potential will be minus g by r the students for the first particle the distance would be under root of 1 square plus 1 square that is root 2 similarly for the second particle it will be 2 root 2 for the third particle it will be 4 root 2 the net potential can be written as minus g by root 2 minus g by 2 root 2 minus g by 4 root 2 and so on 
we can write down that will be minus g by root 2 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 and so on. Dear student, this is an infinite converging GP and the summation of this GP will be 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2. We have to multiply it by g by root 2 as well and this will be equal to minus root 2 g and hence option number 2 for this question is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to question number 10. Question number 10 says a satellite of mass m is revolving around a planet of mass capital M in a circular orbit of radius capital R. The additional energy to be provided to the satellite to transfer it into another circular orbit of radius 2r is. Dear students, the energy of a satellite in an orbit can be written as minus g small m capital M by 2r. This will be the initial energy while the final energy would be equal to minus g small m capital M by 2 into 2r. We have to find out the value of final energy minus initial energy. On substituting the given variables, we can find out this value of the energy difference equal to g small m capital M by 4r, which means option number 1 is the correct answer. Now let us discuss question number 11.